our top story this morning. An El Paso shelter is among several facilities for unaccompanied migrant children being accused of sexual abuse and harassment. In a major move yesterday, the Department of Justice filed a lawsuit against Southwest Ski Programs, Inc., which runs four shelters registered here at the borderland. Our Monica Madden breaks down the lawsuit for us. Suit alleges a pattern of abuse for nearly a decade, claiming multiple Southwest Key employees harassed and abused these unaccompanied minors as young as five years old up to teens shy of 18 years old. When unaccompanied minors arrive at the U.S. at the border, they're taken into federal custody and then transferred to providers like Southwest Key, who give shelter and care for these kids. But the lawsuit claims there has been a pattern of abusing this vulnerable population at multiple facilities. The complaint says in some cases, Southwest Key employees threatened children to maintain their silence, saying they, quote, exploited the children's vulnerabilities, language barriers, and distance from family and loved ones. Some examples of abuse include solicitation of nude photos, sexual abuse, rape, leering, and inappropriate touching. The basis of the complaint says Southwest Key violated the Fair Housing Act through alleged discrimination in housing because of sex. It says, quote, Southwest Key has failed to follow its own policies for preventing, detecting, and responding to sexual abuse and harassment, citing multiple complaints against the provider between at least 2015 and 2023. In Austin, Monica Madden, back to you. A spokesperson for Southwest Ski sent KTSM a new statement saying, quote, Southwest Ski Program's primary focus is the safety, health, and well-being of each one of the children and youth we care for. We continue to review the complaint, and it does not present the accurate picture of the care and commitment our employees provide to the youth and children, end quote. Southwest Key is based in Austin and operates a total of 29 shelters, 17 in Texas, 10 in Arizona, and 2 in California. This remains a developing story, and we will continue to bring you updates as soon as we learn more.